I'm Dave and the Bruce, and this is Jungle Queens, where we celebrate these wonderful women in this amazing genre that's almost now been forgotten, the Jungle Queens. Today we have the Jungle Drums of Africa from 1953. It's a 12-part, 12 12-episode 12 serial um, from Republic, and it did really well. And it stars an actress who we are celebrating, Phyllis Coates, Phyllis Coates. And she was... Um, Actually, in four, yeah, four other Jungle Queen films. She was in this one, which we're about ready to see. She was in The Perils of the Jungle, also from 1953. She was um, in uh, Panther, Girl of the Congo, in 1953. And she was the Jungle Princess, also 1953. <laughs> so... She's unusual in that uh, she did four Jungle Queen uh, movies. And uh, this particular one is uh, fairly remarkable in that it also employed African-American actors. And one of them is portrayed as college educated. This is uh, just unheard of in 1953. It's amazing. So, and, and then she, here she is, uh, uh, a medical person in a leading role, helping people and taking down bad guys. And she, you know, she was a, 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 a feminist <laughs> before her time. So here is a, a, a serial that is breaking ground that was rarely broken in the, ninth, in the early 1950s. So that makes this pretty important film. So it also stars Clayton Moore. Now, do you know who Clayton Moore is? Clayton Moore was the Lone Ranger in the 1950s uh, television series with uh, Jay uh, Silverheels as Tonto. A, a nice series. I enjoyed it. And then you know, Phyllis Coates was also in Superman in the early 50s television as Lois Lane. So here in this film, we have Lois Lane and the Lone Ranger. Wow, two, two superstars from the 1950s. That's pretty remarkable. A lot of ground being broken here. I don't know. I kind of think this is where they kind of connected and made it and somehow... Their, their, their careers continue to parallel a little bit, you know. Well, this is a remarkable series. I'm glad to be bringing it to you. It is uh, uh, 12 parts, and we've broken it down into, um, or I should say it's 12 episodes, and we've broken it down into three parts. So you can see four episodes with each one, and this being the very first. So here we go with this remarkable series that broke new ground, starring an amazing jungle queen, Phyllis Coates. I'm David the Bruce. Let's go.
So you see, when Dewanga graduated from the university, he came back here to Africa. And shortly after that, his father passed away, and he became chief of the tribe. Must have found it dull after college. <laughs> well, that was some years ago. From all reports, the chief has done quite a bit for his people. We've got a couple hours. Let's wander around town for a while. Chief's messenger won't be here till 9 o'clock. Suits me, Alan. Those were the men and the chief's messengers to meet him at 9 o'clock tonight. It's 9 o'clock. He isn't here. Hello. Are you from Chief Duana? Yes, Bawane. Chief, he sent me to tell you. Stay with him, Burst. I'm going after the killer. Right. You're in a hurry, mister. I was chasing a murderer. Did a native run around this corner? Murderer? Well, a native did run past here just ahead of you. But he went on into the compound. I don't think you'll ever be able to catch him now. Who was killed? One of Chief Dewonga's men. Is that right? Well, I'm sure sorry I got in your way. Anything I can help you with now? Well, thanks. I suppose we should report this to the police. I'll be glad to go with you. I've been trading and hunting around here for a long time. I know just about everybody in town. My name's Vigas. How are you? I'm Alan King. Uh, will you show me to the police station? I sure will. This way. Any idea why that man was killed? Well, only a guess. You see, Mr. Regis, my company, the Amaranian Development Company, has been trying to get a concession to prospect for uranium in Chief Duwanga's territory. The messenger was supposed to bring us the chief's answer. Maybe somebody didn't want us to get that concession. Well, I doubt that. Probably some native just paying off a grudge. Now it's up to the police now. Might as well go on about our business. You going out to the Loanga country right away? Yeah, we expect to. Our equipment won't be in for a day or two. It's coming in by truck. Of course, if we could rent a jeep someplace, we could drive out tomorrow and find out from the chief just how we stand. I'm driving out to Kurgan's trading post in the morning. That's only a few miles from the chief's village. I can take you men out and bring you back the next day. Why not? For sure our concession's been okay. We can go to work as soon as our stuff gets here. Thanks, Regis. We'll take you up on that. Good. I'll pick you up here at 7. Good night, man. Good night. Good night. Think you'll ever go back to the States? I hope to. I'd like to finish up back in Oklahoma where I started. It's a great state. It sure is, mister. Vicious. No, they don't. You never can tell when you might run into a mean one. Usually they don't bother you if you don't bother them. But you've got to really watch out for around here, the buffalo. And in the jungle, the leopards are bad. Be the ignition. I'll take a look.
Here it is, a broken rotor. Ah, now what? I'll have to walk back into town to get a new one. That's a long hike. Yeah, but you men will be all right. It's only a two or three hour walk from here to the village. Yeah. Which way? Straight ahead, about five miles. I don't see any road. The road winds around a lot. Your best bet is to cut straight through the jungle. All right. We'll try. I'll pick you up at the village as soon as I get going again. It'll probably be three or four days from now. We'll make out. Sure. Going to have to shoot something for dinner tonight. Good luck, man. Thanks. See you. What was that? A leopard. Riga said they were bad, didn't he? Yeah, and he also said it wouldn't be tough getting through this jungle. I wish he were here to prove it. I don't understand it. Chief Duango's men never make any trouble. There must be some wandering hunters from another tribe. You'll have to excuse me for staring at you, but it's quite a shock to see anyone like you way out here in this jungle. Oh, I'm not far from home. I live in Luango Village. I get it, that bag. Your lady doctor. Well, not quite. But my father was a medical missionary in this district. And since he died last year, I've stayed on to see what I could do for the natives. I'm Carol Bryant. You must be the two men from the Amaranium Company. Well, I'm Alan King. This is Bert Hadley. How do you do? Chief Duangus expecting you. He's getting Father's old bungalow ready for you. Oh, well, she'll be glad to see him. The trail's just over here. Good. I cannot understand who would have killed my messenger or who attacked you, but I'm sure it was none of my people. Maybe somebody was trying to get the mining concession away from us. I doubt it. Representatives of several countries have tried to get the concession from me, but I'd always planned to give it to an American company. Well, that's a break for us. Yes, and it's also a great opportunity for my people. Naganto, have you any idea who these bad men are? My people see strange tracks in the jungle. Maybe bad hunters from other tribes. Well, that's the only explanation I can give. I'm sorry, gentlemen, that you had such a rude reception to my country. Well, it's over now. Yes. Oh, my people have prepared Dr. Bryant's hut for you. I'm sure you will be more comfortable there than in my village. Well, that's very kind of you. Thanks, Chief. Nikki, how many times have I told you to stay out of this house? She seems friendly enough. She is, but she can get into all kinds of mischief.
is a lot better bunkhouse than I ever expected to find in Africa. This used to be our home and office when Father was alive. But I live in the village now. And Chief certainly gave us a hearty welcome. But that witch doctor, Nagato, he didn't seem too glad to see us. Nagato's not easy to get along with. He's always resented the natives coming to Father and me for treatment, instead of paying him for his witch doctor cures. Well, does he have much influence over the tribe? Not now. There's still a few fanatics who believe in him. But he's next in line to be chief. And if he ever gets that position, he might make trouble. Well, see you in the morning. Bye. So long. You know, I don't think I'm going to like this Nagano. What do you want, Nagano? Woman doctor say white men good. My warriors no fight them anymore. Well, how come they're so scared of a woman? They think she make big medicine magic. Bigger than my voodoo. That's a tough break. This is too bad. There's a lot of uranium in this district. And my country needs it a lot more than the United States does. And we're willing to uh, pay a good deal to the people who help us to get it. OK. But how do we go about it? Well, we'll have to get rid of the Americans without arousing suspicion. You go back to the village and pretend to be friendly to those white men. But keep telling me all they do. Come in. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Is everything all right? It's just fine, thanks. Everything's perfect. Now I suppose you want to see the country. Well, we were just talking about that. We really can't do much of anything until we get the truck out here with our instruments and supplies. Maybe two or three days before Regis picks us up. Is there any other way we can get back to town? Yes. Kurgan's trading post is only a couple of miles from here. He has a Jeep, and I'm sure he'd let you use it. Well, that'll be fine. Thanks. Hey, this is Regis's Jeep. It sure is. How do you suppose he got here so fast? We'll find out. Hey, I want to talk to you. Hey, this is a private fight. Kurgan, I own this post. Well, I'm Alan King. This fellow tried to lose us in the jungle yesterday. Is he one of your men? Uh, of course not. He's just a shoestring trader and a guide. What's he doing there? Uh, why, he just dropped in and said he wanted to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I've told you before that I didn't want you around here. Now get out! I'm sorry this had to happen on my property, Mr. King. Anything I can do for you? Why, yes, there is. Well, I'll be glad to drive you into town. I can leave in about an hour. Well, fine. That'll give us time to get back to the village and tell Miss Bryant we're leaving. I'll be ready when you get back. Thanks. Good afternoon. Think you can do anything about them on the way in? No, that'd be too risky. Time to get them would be when they're coming back alone in the truck over the jungle road. You find Regis. Give him a dozen sticks of dynamite and... to have a detonator for this job. It's going to be hard to time that fuse just right.
21st. Look at that. I wonder what you're stopping for. Outside! Stop arrows. No good. Yeah. Take this and keep them busy. I'll fix that. <laughs> Sounds like only one man with a gun. And he's a rotten shot. He's still good enough to keep us pinned down. Here. Do better than that to hurt us. Father, this time. We'll give him a big one this time. Bend that tree down.
first. I've had enough of this. Let's rush him. I'm right with you. Let's be on our way. We never saw them at all, but at least one of them must have been a white man. Maybe Regis. That's possible. He's been mixed up in several shady deals before. But I can't understand what natives would dare attack you. Now, that's what seems to be worrying the chief, too. Well, naturally, he's afraid his people might be blamed for it. That's why he went out right away to find Nagato. You mean he thinks the witch doctor might be mixed up in it? No, but Nagato usually knows everything that goes on around here. The chief said he'd bring him over here. Hey, here they come now. Did you find out anything, Chief Duanga? No, Naganto was in his medicine hut all day. Well, someone was sure after our scalps. Yes, bad, very bad. Next time you go on truck, my warriors go with you. Help fight. We won't be using the truck again for a while, Nagano. Miss Bryan is taking us up the jungle trail to Imbu Gorge tomorrow. Then my warriors make scout. Make sure no strangers near. I go tell them. We'll be glad to get his help. Nagano hasn't seemed too friendly towards us. Nagato is jealous. He has always resented the tribe's respect for Miss Bryan's medical work. Since, of course, it cuts down on his prestige as witch doctor. But I'm sure that he is as interested as I am in the welfare of our people. And he knows how much the success of your work here means to them. jungle trail to gorge tomorrow. Well, that's fine. Yeah, there are many places on that trail where we can uh, ambush them. No, white woman doctor go with them. How many times have I told you that you don't have to be afraid of her? Just because her medicine has cured more people than your voodoo mumbo jumbo doesn't mean that she's magic. Many warriors think her magic very strong. Only a few think mine's strong now. All right, then help us get rid of her and those Americans. And they'll know that your magic is strong. Maybe someday you'll even be chief. Think of it. When the people of my country are working the uranium mines on your land. They'll pay you lots of money. Enough to buy many weapons. You promise? Of course. I try. Good. Good. You want uh, Goss and Regis to help you? Mm, better they stay here. If you're going to have too much to carry, I'll get one of the natives to help you. No, no, thanks. All we'll need is this Geiger counter and some tools to take a few samples. My father always thought there was uranium in those mountains on the other side of the gorge. Well, I hope he was right. With this race for atomic development going on, the United States needs all the uranium it can get. Now, from the way we've been sniped at, it looks like someone wants to stop us from corralling that supply. I sure hope Nagano's men did a good job of scouting that trail last night. Well, he said they did. There were no strange natives around. Anyway, we'll keep our eyes open. Now, Bert, you got everything we need? It looks like it. Let's go.
this all about? The warthog must have young ones around here. She wants to protect them from the hyena. Something frightened those birds. Could have been an animal, but it might be men. We'd better keep our eyes open. on that trap line. I'm sorry I was so rough. Thanks. Good thing you were. Well, wasn't that nice? Someone knew we were coming along this trail. Sure. The Gonzo. I don't think it was him. But a scout moving through here could have warned whoever set that trap that we'd be along this way. I want to keep bargains. Be tuna. I teach you. I'm going to go to Think we ought to go back? Take cover! It doesn't look like we're going back. Now we could use some of Nagano's men. That is, if these birds aren't Nagano's men. We wouldn't dare do a thing like this. If we can get to the gorge, we can stop them there. You go on. We'll follow. Hold you. and Neva.
will cross first. We'll hold them. All right. Too big. I tell you, she's no magician. I don't know how she got out of that gorge, but it wasn't magic. All warriors think so. No, follow me now. Well, maybe we can do something about that. This voodoo that you work, suppose you told your people that the devil beast would get them if they didn't get rid of the white man and the woman doctor. No good. My magic not big enough to bring devil beast. Well, mine is. Only I call it money. Regis. You know that Chinese animal dealer down the river? Sure, I know him. Well, he just shipped a tiger in from India. We're going to buy it. We'll bring it back here and turn it loose. The natives have never seen one. They'll be properly impressed, especially if he kills a couple of them. Yeah, it might work. Good. I'll go to town and make all the arrangements. You start telling your people that your magic told you to warn them of the devil beast. If white man no go, devil beast kill many people. Just where did this devil beast come from? Voodoo tell me jungle god sent it. They are angry because white man come and dig in lands of tribe. Me help white man before, not now. Many people get killed, much trouble. This likely to be serious, Chief? Voodoo has caused trouble among my people for centuries. But I doubt now if even Nagato himself believes in it anymore. How about the rest of the tribe? A few years ago, they would have believed him. But now practically none of them take any stock in his hocus pocus. But still, it wouldn't take much to make a lot of them go back to him. 
If any of our people should be killed by an animal, it might make trouble. What's wrong, Chief? One of my men was killed by a strange animal. Did anyone see it? Yes, they described it as looking like a big leopard with stripes. Sounds like a tiger. A tiger in Africa? There never have been any here. So when Nagato tells my people that this is a devil beast he predicted, they're inclined to believe it. You know, it could be somebody bribed Nagato to spread that story and then brought in the tiger to back it up. Anyway, the first thing to do is to hunt down that tiger. And Carol, can you get us some native trackers? Timba, Simba. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure I can persuade them to fix up that lion pit trap. We might catch him in that. Fair enough. While you're doing that, Bert and I will try our luck with the rifles. Sounded like something over there. Tough time following him without a tracker. He's gone in the general direction of the pit. Carol's there with the natives. You follow the tiger. I'll take the direction towards the pit and make sure they're ready for him. Go ahead. That'll do. Now go to the village and get some meat for bait. How's it going? Everything's ready except for setting up a stick to put the bait on. Good. The tiger's headed this way, so we'd better be ready. alive, and when they see him in a cage, they'll forget about this devil beast business. Good. Let's get them started. People very angry. Make much trouble for white man soon. Adonto, why are you trying to frighten our people? Devil beast loose. Voodoo say white That's man. That's enough. I'll not have you trying to turn the tribe against my friends with that silly talk about voodoo and devil beast. Now go! I'm sorry this happened, but I'm sure it's nothing serious. What do you want? Devil beast loose. Kill more people. You go away, then devil beast go away. Your 
chief has asked me to stay. No, you go now. now you get out of here. <laughs> on me. What should we do with him? If the chief hears about this, he'll be banished from the tribe. The natives might resent it and make trouble, since that tiger's still on the loose. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Legato, if you ever try a stunt like that again, you won't get off so easy. Now get out of here. Alan, the tiger trap is out. Someone wrecked the whole setup. Yeah, we'll have to try hunting him down. I'll go with you. All right, Carol. I think we'll have a good chance of finding the tiger in that heavy jungle between the pit and the gorge trail. Let's go. The bula. I don't see any tracks here, but it might be somewhere in that patch of jungle ahead. We better split up and cover as much ground as we can. That sounds reasonable. Let's go.
Well, I don't think we'll have any more trouble with the natives now. And are you in good? White woman doctor killed double beast. Her magic much big. <laughs> That's probably what they're saying. They insist on thinking I can work magic. Well, anyway, I like your magic much better than Nagano's. You know, I still think someone in town is putting Nagano up to all this. I'm beginning to think you're right. Someone wants to drive you out of here before you can develop the uranium mines. When they can manage to import a man-eating tiger in the middle of Africa, they must have a pretty good organization. But the natives are on our side now. So I don't think we'll have any more trouble. I hope not, unless they get stirred up again. sneaked in and tried to carve us up. He acted like he was crazy. He's in a hypnotic trance, induced by drinking the juice of a native herb. I'll give him a sedative. He'll be all right when he wakes up. Watch him till I get back. I give him voodoo drink, he go crazy, he try kill white men, then white woman doctor give him medicine. He no crazy now. He say white woman make him well. He follow her now. My damn, she crosses us up every time. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to do something about her. You'd like to get back your power as the real witch doctor of the tribe again, wouldn't you? Well, you'll have to get rid of the white woman first. Her magic! Oh, quit talking about her magic! Nagando. You could get men to do almost anything for these, couldn't you? 
Life costs much ivory. Of course they do. Much more than the average tribesman can afford. You can take these. You can give them to the men that you pick. If they'll promise to do exactly as I tell them. Hello, Chief Duwanga. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I put some fruit in your hut for you. Well, thank you. Where's Carol? We received a drum message this morning asking her to come look after a sick child. She hasn't returned yet. How far does she have to go? Only a short distance. Come to think of it, she should have been back hours ago. But, oh, I'm sure she's all right. Just the same, I think we'd better go look for her. That's a good idea. I'll get a man to guide you. Good. After we get rid of these tools, we'll meet you at your village. Right. What are you doing here? Nikki, go back. We can't leave her here. The leopards will get her. All right, we'll take her along. Hey, that smells bad. What's the matter, Matambo? Food to medicine bad, very bad. Never mind that now. Something has happened to Miss Bryant. You've got to find tracks. No, food to say go back. The fast, die quick. Nothing is going to hurt you. We're here with you, but you've got to help us find Miss Bryant. No, go back, please. Well, that's that. We'll have to go on by ourselves. trail and I don't see any tracks. All right, get down. To... Say, do you suppose she's trying to lead us to Carol? It could be. It's a good chance as any. Go on, Nikki. Find Carol. Must be crazy. No one ever came through this stuff. She seems to know where she's going. Come on. Drum. We're going in the right direction, all right.
Oh, my God. 